Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I'm just taking the very last of the wheat up to the silos up there. Our, com our field is now finished, our combine has been returned. Our mowing is finished as well, I did field 12, was it? Was it 12? Um, yeah, field 12 as well, so we've done 7, 8 and 12. Um, that one has been mowed, I have returned the Coon Merge Max, that wonderful machine that was throwing the grass out either side of our, um, I, well, throws the grass out either side so we can make like double rows. Um, that one performed really well. And this week we are going to start doing our silage. It's all there laid out on the ground, ready to pick up. And as chance would have it, we have a brand new mod available in the mod hub that turned up sometime in the last 24 hours. Um, and so we're going to be using that one. Um, the trailer that we're going to be using, we want to go into here now and we want to go to tippers. I asked you the question last week, which trailer did you want me to use when I come to doing the silage? Did you want me to use this one here, the Braun 18 foot? Now, I think I've been pronouncing some of these wrong, but I can't actually remember. I did make a note of them and I've lost the note. So um, I will continue to pronounce them how I was and I apologize that I am getting some of them wrong. Um, so yeah, we've got this Braun 18 foot, which is 28,000 litre um, trailer. And uh, then we've got the Fortuna 33,000 litre trailer and the uh, Kawako Radium 50, it's a 32,000 litre, it's got uh, opening and closing lids. And then we have the Ace 10 silage trailer there, the Marston silage trailer, this one's much smaller at 20,000. And then finally I had the Wienhaus or Wienhuis, um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that one, uh, W400, 36,000 litres, that one was the biggest of the trailers. Um, this surprised me, I've got to be honest, the very first day, the, um, which one was it? Yes, the first day uh, of voting, this one here came out on top. And I did think that this one would actually win the vote because of the opening and closing doors on the top. Uh, however, it didn't, because the next two days consecutive, um, the one that won the vote was this one here, the Fortuna FTM 200. And someone did say that they had a few issues with this one, but... Um, I've only had one person report issues with this trailer. It's a 33,000 litre trailer. It does look very much like a standard silage trailer. Not quite like the, the Ace 10 Marston, the small one. But anyway, the numbers. We have for the Ace 10, this one here, we had, uh, well, in total, I had 2,651 votes. So a huge number of votes. We had 197 people pick this one. Then we had the Braun 18 foot, uh, that one there. We had 262 people pick that one. Then the very biggest one, the Wienhaus or Wienhuis, uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, but anyway, that one was 414. So the biggest trailer didn't get the most votes this time around, which genuinely surprised me. I didn't think that would be the case. It very normally, it, it almost always is the case that the biggest one wins. Um, which one was then? Then the Kawako, that one there with the opening and closing gates over the top that holds your load sort of in place as you're going along. That one had 668 votes, but this trailer right here, the Fortuna 200 slash 6, 33,000 litres, so it's nearly the biggest. Um, looks very much like a traditional size trailer. This one had 1,110 votes. So this is one that we're going to use and we're just going to lease it for the duration of the silage harvest. There we go. And the one that we're going to be using for uh, the, the forager that we're going to be using, I'd like to use the Class Jaguar 800. Um, Class is very common in New Zealand, I've been told. You see a lot of them. You also see a lot of crone. Well, th these, they're all popular, except for the Russell Mash. Apparently, you don't see the Russell Mash in New Zealand. I'm not surprised. That is more of an Eastern European brand. Um, so we're going to go for the Class Jaguar 800. We've got the engine set up for the 840. Um... Oh, we've got a whole load of options. We've got the 840, then the 850, 860, and 870. The 870 is 585 horsepower, so it's considerably more powerful than the smallest one. And I'd like to actually just go with um, the... Hang on. I want to go that way. Yeah, I want to go for the standard, the smallest engine setup. I normally like to boost it up a bit, but we're going to go for the small one this time. We've got front um, front twins or standard. I don't know if front twins are actually going to fit through the gateway, so we're just going to go for standard wheels as well because we're just doing grass. Um, maize silage is a little bit different. You would no more often see twins on maize silage, something like that. Grass silage where you're picking it up where the mower has gone over, 
more unusual to see twins. So we're going to go for standard with the smallest engine setup. That's going to be $17,200 to lease that one. Um, so that's essentially what we're doing is we're ha we've got a contractor who's coming in to do our silage for us. And then the new mod that I got was this one here, the pickup. And 20 kilometers an hour, that one does 13. Um, so we, we can go quite fast with this new pickup that we've got. These here, oh, they're also 20. Um, so yeah, we've now have, we didn't have previously a, an actual class um, front pickup like this. We only had the class Orbis. So now we've got the pickup here. Select that one and I will lease that one for a thousand. So that will go with our forager. It's back out of there. Um, let's just take a quick look. Now we've got 440,000 litres of grain, which sounds wonderful. In actual fact, we've only got a quarter of what's listed there. So we've got 110,000 litres of wheat, which isn't too shabby, actually. 110,000 litres of wheat. We will have to have a little sale at some point soon. I'm not quite sure when. We've still got the straw down in the field down there. That is to be baled up at some point. We need to get the rake and the baler going on that so that we can get that all um, all bailed up and sorted. But we're not going to do that now. We're not going to worry about it. So I will drive up to... Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. I will get myself over to the first field with our fent. And then I will get over to the dealership. I will collect our class Jaguar with the um, the pickup header on the front. And I will put the trailer on the back. Hopefully it's got a hitch on it. And I will bring it over here and then we can actually start silaging. We'll get stuck straight into it. I'm just pulling into the field with the forager and we've got the trailer on the back. So I'll do the first time around the field with... Um, the forager pulling the trailer and then we'll see about using the tractor because obviously the tractor the fent over there that's going to be uh, running it up and down to the clamp up the top um, the one thing I haven't actually thought about is how we're going to level the clamp I haven't thought that far ahead yet I suppose I really should think that far ahead but uh, first of all let's take a look at this machine um, we need to take a look at this because, quite frankly, the details are incredible. Um, first of all, we've got you've got the uh, the green paint. This machine has obviously been used. The infeed header has been used. Um, the green paint goes all the way along, and as you start to use a machine, the flow of grass and stuff into the front will wear the paint off, and it shines this up to an absolute golden gleam it does the same inside balers as well as um, machines like this and what you'll find not having used these very much myself um, I've sort of seen them used a bit but I'm just going to assume that they're the same as a baler and what you'll find is that all of this shiny metal here when you store it away for the winter this will develop rust over it you can you know put a spray a little bit of oil over it to try and stop it but it will eventually it does get some rust spots on it so when you first started up, the first few bales that you throw through a baler, or, you know, the first bits through here, it goes a little bit slower. You just start off just a fraction slower than you would normally, and after you've been running for 20 minutes, you've worn most of the rust off, and you've developed that shine again, and all of this will get shiny. This machine is not actually very old. You can see the tines on the front. They are a little bit worn. Um, the paint has been worn off of them. The tines on the outside, there's no paint being worn off of these. Um, and there's still paint on the inside edges of some of these. So I would say that this machine has had some use, obviously, because the paint has been worn off. Uh, but it's not seen a lot of use because the, the, um, there is still streaks of paint all over it. So it's definitely not even seen one season's use yet. And you look at the auger on the top, there's a lot of paint left on that one still. There's a lot of paint on that one, so it's definitely not even seen a full season's use, that one. Um, but yeah, the, the detail on that is quite impressive. I'm very impressed with that. And then you've got this trailer here, again, covered with details. You've got the ladder on the side for climbing up to the top. Um, and you've got the, the steps, the platform and everything here. Pipes going into the machine in front. Um, generally speaking, this trailer is absolutely beautifully made with meticulous attention to detail on all of it. So yeah, I just felt that it was actually worth stopping to take a look. I don't often do it. Um, I, don't, I don't spend ages looking at the machine. I like to like, just get stuck straight. Oop, I didn't mean to turn it off. Get stuck straight in and get started. Um, but yeah, I did feel that we should have a look at it today. So there we go. We got that one ready to roll. 
Um, and I don't know if I need to unfold or not. I think I've got to unfold on the front. So let's go to the front and press X. Right, the wheels come out. The cover stays on because it stops stones flicking up from the front. If, they, if a stone was to catch on the auger on the front, um, it could flick up and it could smash the front window. And you really don't want that to happen. So let's try starting this bad boy up. Um, press B. There we go. Starts up nice, and you can see the speed that that auger um, flies around, which is why you wouldn't want any um, you, you wouldn't want to run without that cover on there because it could very very easily smash the front window. Let's get going. Let's make some silage. So my question for this week, as I said in my um, Goldcrest Valley, you know I don't like the way that the animation is not blowing it right into the trailer and it's bringing it to the front. I guess once the front of the trailer is filled, it'll move the animation for blowing the grass further back. Um, that's something that we will just have to put up with. And I apologise, but I am going to do a little bit in cab just to start with. I know that um, I don't generally do this on my channel because um, most of you have said you don't like it. Um, and I get very few requests for it these days. My channel is known for not doing in cab stuff. I, do, I generally stay out of cab, but I just want to try it out and see what it feels like in here. You can't see the trailer at all. Um, not even with the mirrors, nothing. Um, but I do like the view from the front. It is pretty good. It does make it a bit easier to sort of follow the lines as well. Let's go out of cab. So here, I mean, I like the fact that you've got the bar on the front. You see the two rollers on the front? They would generally be quite low down, just so that it um, presses the grass down onto the forager, onto the pickup reel. Um, I don't know if you can adjust those, actually. Let's just stop a second. Um to the front right there's no no you can't adjust the height of those rollers but those rollers what they generally do is they are for just stopping the grass from like flicking up and flicking forward and sometimes the grass can actually roll along in front of the forager as well right now the grass is moving further back into the trailer and we've got the full animation this is going right down into the trailer so that is a lot better that is actually a very nice picture there let me try and get it centered so that i can just Get that on there and yes yes you get you guessed it this is going to be the screenshot i think for now we'll use it like that beautiful absolutely beautiful picture that excellent anyway um my question is the same one that i was running in goldcrest valley this week i feel this is very very important to me um deciding the future of this channel um, and I know that the vote itself is going to say that I should stick 100% with doing Farming Simulator and nothing else. But like I said in um, Goldcrest Valley, and the main reason I'm continuing this on is to give more people a chance to have their say if they want it. And for those of you who don't watch Goldcrest Valley, um, what we're doing is we're deciding what happens on my channel. Do I continue just playing Farming Simulator games or uh, you know, videos or do I start doing some other games as well? And the other games, they're going to be completely open to the viewers. I won't be just deciding on one in particular. I will allow everybody to have a say in what we watch, uh, what we do, what we play. Um, I don't want to sort of limit it to saying um, I'm only going to play certain games. Um, I would like to play a lot of um, simulators, but I'm not going to stick with simulators. Uh, I basically, I will play whatever other people want me to play. And let me just bring that one back there. We'll unhitch. Oh, no, I need to go there so that I can unhitch. There we go. And now if I come forward, I think we'll try using follow me next time round. Stop that one. I need to go and get the tractor so that we can run this first load up. Um... So yes, the question is, do you want me to continue doing 100% farming simulator videos on this channel, or do you want me to drop some of the farming simulator videos in favour of doing um, some other games? And I will start off with similar games like um, Euro Truck or Spin Tires or ones like that. However, as people have pointed out, um, other people do these games as well, and you know, if I'm changing games, I shouldn't just stick with um, those games. I should you know, really put in a bit of variety. And I fully intend to, if I start doing some other games, if I, if I stop doing um, 
two or three episodes a week of Farming Simulator, I will definitely be doing a large variety of games. I'm just going to start off with something a bit more similar to Farming Simulator, and then I'll take it from there. I will go on the suggestions that you guys give me, and it will be entirely down to you what sort of games that I play. Um, I know I've been going on about this a lot this week. I've also said that I'm not necessarily going to do exactly what the vote itself says. Um, because I know for a fact that you're all going to vote. You know, if, if I just take the numbers on the vote, um, the winner is going to be I should stick with doing Farming Simulator and I shouldn't start doing other games. And so far the vote is definitely saying that. But last time I asked this question, which was quite a long time ago now, um, I had something like 98% of people say, stick with Farming Simulator, don't do other games. Now I'm asking a question again, because I feel that some of you are starting to get a bit fed up with nothing but Farming Simulator all the time, and you'd like a change. Um, that's fair enough, and the results that we're getting back are at least a quarter, up to a third of the vote is going towards me playing other games. The comments are all suggesting that you'd like to see some other games. Um, some of you are voting for Farming Simulator, but you would still want to watch if I do other stuff as well. Um, and I've got to say, the animation on that trailer is absolutely magnificent. The way that the um, the back door comes up and is the, the all the folding up and everything is very much like a large silage trailer. And I've spent a long time using large silage trailers. Um, so yeah, I'm. That's, it's, it's an excellent trailer. I'm, I'm surprised that we ended up going for this one. I thought we would have gone for one of the other ones. But I'm quite pleased that you did vote for this one. This one's turned out to be a, a really good trailer. So, yeah. Thank you for that, everybody. Um, so, yeah. The vote. Um, because I'm not necessarily going to go 100% on what the actual vote itself says this time round. Um, and I know that might upset some of you. But I've got to play... I've, like I've explained, I've got to try and keep things fresh on the channel. Um, I've got to try and make it so that it's interesting for everybody and not just the, the Farming Simulator fans. It's, it's difficult to make sure that I get everything just right. Now, I need to offset this. If I go offset by 5, is that going to be enough? Let's bring the ahead distance. I think offset by 5 might be too much. Bring it forward a bit. Oh no, maybe it's all right. Actually, no. I think offset by five is going to be just fine. Um, if I put the distance like that, so he's slightly in front, that should be about right. So then I can start this one up, and that one should follow me as we go around the field, which is going to be perfect. So let's get that one going. Oop, no, I want to go there. We'll start it up, and just start moving. We want to go fairly slow to start with so the tractor can keep up with us. Um, and yes, for those of you getting a bit fed up with me rabbiting on about um, what am I going to play, what am I not going to play, I apologise, but it's kind of... I, I really want to get a feel of what uh, your different opinions are on the subject. And you, really, what is going to swing the how things progress on this channel is not just the vote. I am taking that into consideration. Um, I'm definitely sort of listening to what the vote is saying um but at the same time i'm also um paying very close attention to everything that is written in the comment section this time um the comment section is what is going to swing anything one way or the other um do i stop doing farming simulator videos for some of the week and do other games or do i not so the actual question is do you want me to start doing just one series of Farming Simulator a week, so three Let's Plays a week, and then three Let's Plays of other games each week? Or do you want me to do four episodes of Farming Simulator Let's Play each week, which would be two episodes from each series, and then do an additional um, two episodes, or do two episodes per week of some other games? which would end up giving you, um, still it's, it's still going to be the six episodes per week. I will do six episodes a week. I really can't do more than that. I just don't have time for it. Um, people have suggested I could start a second channel. Not an option. I, I, I literally don't have time. If I had time to um, make videos for another channel, I would have time to just make extra videos for this channel. 
um, running an, a separate channel is, is not going to work. It's not something that I could make work. Um, so that ain't going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, those are your three options. Stick with 100% Farming Simulator, do Farming Simulator for half the week, other games for half the week, or Farming Simulator for four episodes a week and other games for two episodes a week. It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know what you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote. And this time... Like I have said previously, the vote is important and I am taking it into account, but I really need also to hear your views. I need to know why you want different things, what you think of the idea of me doing some other stuff. Um, I am most likely, as the vote stands at the moment, we've got, it's around about a third of people are saying that they'd like me to start doing some other material on this channel. Um, and a third of the audience is a huge number, so I will be doing that at some point soon. I'm going to do a trial run of a month of doing um, some of one and some of the other, just to see how it goes, see how it's received, see what people think, um, and then we'll decide how we go from there. I have been getting a lot of comments about um, the time-lapse, do not worry. The time lapse is not going anywhere, okay? The time lapse is staying. That is the the time lapse is the reason that I'm having so much trouble with this um, because I just don't have time to do extra episodes. If I didn't do the time lapse or if I only did one time lapse a week, I'd have time to put if I was doing one time lapse a week, I would have time to record three other episodes for other games each week. I would have time to do that. But I don't have time to do that because I do the time lapse. I do two time lapses every week. Those are staying. This channel is just like my signature dish. If I was a chef, that would be my signature dish. Um, those are staying. I am not getting rid of the time lapses. There will still be two time lapses a week, even if I start doing, um, like, drop one series of Farming Simulator in favor of some other stuff. Um, so, yeah. And I apologise, you're hearing the same thing all over again for those of you who watch Goldcrest Valley as well, and some of you are getting a bit sick of it. Um, yeah, it's, I, am, I, I do need to talk about this a bit because it's, it's very important for this channel, and yes, I know I could just change it up, and then if you don't like it, you can go away and you come back when I've got it all together. Um, but I kind of would like to know beforehand if you're all going to abandon ship if I um, change things up a little bit because it would give me a better idea of whether or not I should even attempt it. And at the moment I know that there are several of you saying I should stay with 100% Farming Simulator because that's what you come here for, you come for the game. But so many of you are saying you would prefer me to stick with Farming Simulator but you don't come here just for the game. You come here for my take on the game and the way that I talk about the game and compare it to my real life experiences, stuff like that, um, which I, is absolutely wonderful. It's amazing to hear the reasons why you watch my channel and why you come here and um, why you want to stay here at this channel. So yeah, based on a lot of what people have been saying, I will be doing a trial run, but I still want to hear all of your reasons for um, why you want, you know, what, what's, well, also, it, not just your reasons for why you want me to try it or not, but what games would you like me to play? Um, I've had a huge, celest, a huge selection of games that have been suggested to me. Some of them sound really cool, some of them probably not really my style, but um, could be quite interesting. Some of them I don't think are necessarily all that suitable for this channel. Because remember, this channel is supposed to be suitable for kids. I know that YouTube is supposed to be for... Ooh, okay, the tractor's not really doing very well over there, so let's go and help that one out. Yes. Um, oh, hang on. I've got to control F to take it off of there. I'm going to try... Actually, I'm going to have to try that tomorrow. We'll do one more load like this. But then tomorrow I'm going to try a different method of using the follow me. I'm going to hopefully get the forager to follow the trailer. Um, using follow me. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out, but it could be quite interesting. I am quite looking forward to trying that one out. We won't be able to use hired help, I don't think, just because of the way that the, the lines and everything work in the field um, with the pickup reel like this. But you've got to be honest, this pickup reel is fantastic. It's absolutely awesome being able to use it like this, especially using the follow me. 
I know we could be using course play, and yes, I am going to use course play at some point. Um, I just didn't want to get started on course play this week because um, I've got quite a few things on in my personal life as well, and it's going to take a while for me to get to grips with course play. It's, um, so I, I need to kind of have a little bit of time available so that I can sort of deal with that and figure out how to use it properly because several people have said use course play but for goodness sake don't do a how-to video because there's millions of them around and we don't want to watch you struggling with it like we did with the GPS mod because quite frankly that was one of the worst videos we ever made um yeah fair point I'll, I'll, I'll give you that yes it wasn't the most exciting video I ever made now is this tractor going to get round or is it just going to destroy my fence and then get hung up let's have a look go on a little bit further I'm wasting see I've got all of this silage is now just sort of disappearing into nothing because the trailer isn't close enough one thing I don't like about this I would prefer it if it would just throw the chaff out onto the ground I suppose actually that would be quite difficult if it's you know real life if you're going along the chaff the, the grass it just sort of goes up through and gets spread um, out across the field if you miss the trailer and I've seen that happen loads of times um, it's great and all yeah it, it works you, know, you can throw throw all the grass across the fields no trouble at all nobody you know really gets upset some people might um but no if you're throwing the grass across the field um yeah that would be great but it turns it into chaff which is a separate thing in this game and so if you threw that onto the field you then have to have something that could come back and pick it all up again which might actually be a bit of a nuisance that could that could present a bit of a problem if you were to do that so let's swing around here remembering that we don't want to get too close to the river or the tractor will end up going into the river and that wouldn't really be acceptable I like the fact that we've got some nice steep hills here. The videos that I have seen of silage being done in New Zealand all tend to involve rather steep hills, um, which is why I really wanted to go and do field 25, you know, the one up, up um, right at the top, right below where we planted our beans. That one has got a really... Oh, I missed a huge slice back there. That's no good. Um, yeah, that, what, that field has um, got some really steep banks on it, and I thought it would be really cool if we could go and take the forager and everything else through that field. I thought it would be a genuinely cool thing to try and do. Um, unfortunately we can't get into it because there's an invisible wall and what we're going to have to do is try and get some sort of... Now can I get through here? 100%. Right, let's just stop you there. I'll switch that one off actually. Just like that. Jump in you. Turn the following off. Right, he would actually get through there without any trouble, so we can get past that tree. This is going to have to be the last load today. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with this. And then on the final day of this week, we'll probably have to get up to the clamp and do a bit up there. I don't want to just do silage for the... Well, just do this silage for the week. I'd like to do some, obviously. Um, so, yes, my question is all about how do you want the channel to proceed? And no i won't necessarily be doing exactly what the vote says i'm taking the numbers that vote into account i'm taking the number of people that vote and i'm taking the percentage of people that want me to try other stuff compared to um just sticking with the same farming simulator stuff um and i'm sort of i'm i'm doing my best to like consider everything i don't want this channel to get stuck in a rut um, that's something that I don't want to see happen because if I stick with just Farming Simulator forever um, when Farming Simulator starts to because inevitably games have sort of high points and low points and if Farming Simulator really starts to go through a low point for a year or so um, that means my channel is going to go through that same low point as well and if I've only got diehard Farming Simulator fans on my channel I'm kind of stuck um, that, that does leave me in a bit of a bind um, because then I've sort of reached a point where I can't uh, introduce very much variety and it's it's not it's not a good situation for a YouTuber to be in. I need people to keep watching my videos. Um, at the same time, I need you all to like my videos. Um, and so you, you sort of see, this is the kind of stuff that goes on in a YouTuber's head behind the scenes. This is what we're thinking all the time. Is what can I do that is going to engage my audience? What can I do that is going to um, cause my audience to really like my video this time? Um, how? What? What kind of new approach can I bring? Because if I have a successful video, brilliant. I can't do the same thing next time round because you've already seen that. So I've got to come up with something new and fresh, and that's what this is all about. I need something new and fresh because I want to keep. 
um, keep the variation going. But at the same time, I don't want to upset everybody. So it can't be too different, but at the same time, yeah. You, you see, you see what I'm, where I'm coming from. So anyway, my question for this week is, do you want me to continue doing 100% Farming Simulator videos on this channel, or would you rather I started to change it up a little and did some other stuff as well, play some different games? Do you want me to do um, drop a series of Farming Simulator and do half Farming Simulator and half other games? Do you want me to just drop a couple of episodes and do four episodes a week of Farming Simulator and four episodes a week of... Four episodes a week, uh, uh, sorry, four of Farming Simulator and two of other games. Or would you rather I just stuck 100% with Farming Simulator and never even considered doing another game because Farming Simulator is the only way? Um, it's your vote, it's your game. Head in the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Just remember, it's the comments that are far more important this time around than the voting. Okay, I want you to vote. I want to. I want to know sort of the numbers of people who want what. But above all, I need to hear your opinions. I need to know why you think I should stick with just farming simulator. Why I uh, should try other stuff. Um, I really need your comments. I need to know what you all think about it. And for those of you who are getting a bit fed up with me rabbiting on about this same thing, I apologise. We will be back to our regular scheduled questioning and answers and everything else next week. Um, but anyway, I am going to finish filling up this trailer, and um, so we've just about finished this field. We'll be ready to move on into the next field in our next episode that way. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.